what is up my dudes here we are with a copycat tv special this is the buggy and a gun deck so it's a no bike nod deck with buggy instead um obviously this makes it better versus some things and worse versus others generally i think it makes you worse versus the best things in the game and better versus some worse things in the game um so i'm not a huge fan i think that buggy is just a worse anti-air than bikes and then you'd rather have a light anti-vehicle than a light anti-infantry, generally speaking. But we're going to give it a go, and we're going to see how it goes. Alright, I'm excited. I'm excited to defeat Major Tom with a buggy. A buggy is pretty strong first missile. Um, normally in Rivals, what you want to do is you open your scout unit, and then you tend to... Uh, you want to try and win the rifle mirror, and not tech switch. But when you have buggy, I think that's not true. I think with buggy, because it's so cheap and it's actually very good against in the early game against barracks, I think you're supposed to go buggy quite early because it puts a lot of pressure on your opponent to do something. But I think you are supposed to actually aggressively tech switch to the buggy. So we're going to try that and see what happens. See, the problem is here, he's just probably he's probably going to go bikes, but that even that's fine because we are so far ahead on the board. And we have the tank if he goes bikes. Right, so he has double half. He's gone air tower. I'm going to make another buggy. I'm going to ignore this laser for the entire game. And we're going to see how long it's there for. Banshee, my word. I think I can kill a Banshee with two buggies. Oh, it's just going straight for my harvester. Of course it is. Okay. Yeah, I mean, just, just ignore the two anti-air units in your path. They, I'm sure that'll be fine. No big deal. All right, so we do obviously we actually trade even though he uh, yeah well, less said about that the better um we end up trading <laughs> with his banshee uh we're gonna make a phantom for the next banshee a widow maker wow that was uh, surprisingly quick so we're gonna make scorpion we're gonna try and kill his banshee so that our scorpion can roam free there we go no, can't catch it. Doesn't matter, game's over. And Laser Squad up in the top has done substantial damage to my base, as you can see. So that, that worked out well, well for him. Pretty sure he's happy with how that went. Cool, 1-0. Good job, team. Objective complete. Okay. So we're gonna we're gonna stick with our plan of aggressively switching into the buggy quite early on uh, to see how that goes like normally in a rifle mirror i would say you don't want to switch because oh he's gone double rifle opening interesting normally i'd say you don't want to switch in a rifle mirror like this because then your opponent can counter what you go into but potentially with buggy we i think if we go buggy and he switches into something like an air unit of some description that's really bad for me, because they're my only anti-air. Like, it gives Orca here. I'm never going to catch an Orca with lasers. And I can't use Scorpion Tank either. So, this is the issue with being the guy who tech switches first, is your opponent can just counter what you do. And if you can't counter what they counter with, then you're behind. Alright, so he's gone Pitbull. That's actually pretty good for me. Because I can make a Scorpion Tank. Because he went War Factory, this works out very nicely. The buggy also managed to push him off the pad and win me the missile. So the buggy, the buggy tech switch worked out pretty well there. But mostly because he countered with Pitbull. Like if he if he counters with Orca, it's very bad. All right, we're gonna make a second Scorpion because he's making a lot of War Factory units. We're gonna send this one after his harvester. Double half, oh, of course. So because we're Seth, we're gonna go super aggressive here. We're gonna drill pod to protect our Scorpion. Am I going to take out this harvester? What is in my air tower? Laser drones and phantom. Okay. I'm just going to keep making scorpion tanks because scorpion tanks are great. Man, look at this. Look at this harvester pressure. Unrelenting harvest of pressure. This is something you can do when you have a tank in your deck. Pretty hard to do this without a tank. Mission accomplished. Alright, let's get some rifly boys out. 
of our opponent's uptick. These guys should really do some more cardio. And I know that's rich coming from me, because let's be real here. Not like I lift. But uh, these guys could move a little bit faster, you know what I'm saying? Like they haven't got heavy equipment or anything. The flamers, those guys, those guys are jacked. Right? Like flame troopers, they move fast. And they have those big flame packs as well. Like those dudes clearly go to the gym. Like they work out. I'm just saying militants maybe could be on the same training regime as flames. And then we have faster militants, right? That would be pretty cool. I mean, look at those guys. Look at them go. They've got these big ass packs on the back as well. These dudes are jacked. That's all I'm saying. All right, so Buggy obviously annihilates Flamers. GG, thanks for playing. Roman Rotti. I'm uh, going to have a very fast missile here. Ooh, not the bikes. Luckily, we have already fired the missile, so it doesn't matter. Uh, let's move over here. Oop, let's get the buggy protected. Buggy doesn't do good harvester damage, but it'll chip away. It'll get there eventually. We've boosted bikes. Okay, let's retarget the bikes. I don't know how much damage we can get done to them, but it'll be some. Oh, I take it back. It was actually none. <laughs> I thought it was going to be some. But the amount of damage we managed to do was zero. Good job, buggy. Buggy and a gun. Let's move these lasers down. Move this over. Try and keep harassing this harvester. Probably gonna want another buggy for these flames. I have a phantom, right? I do have a phantom. Exciting. Um, yeah, we're gonna make the phantom for the banshee, and we've got the buggy for the flames. Not sure what the banshee's up to right now. What are we, I shouldn't even kill it if it's gonna be down there. Is he actually going for my harvester? Dude, the game is over! Roman Rotti, my dude. I hate to be the one to bring the news, but the game is actually over. Killing my harvester is not gonna help you. All right, cool. Another win for the buggy dick. All right. These slow these snail boys to the middle of the map. Go, snail boys, go. Precious seconds off of the clock you're wasting as you slowly troll towards the middle. I think I got there slightly later than him. I'm going to lose this fight. And here come the laser drones. So this is quite an expensive switch for him. Because he doesn't have a harvester. If he's, if he's got laser drones and militants already, it means he doesn't have a harvester. So he's just straight no harvin me? Okay. Straight no harvin. Well, I'll tell you what. Buggy is pretty good against militants and laser drones and flamers. So let's get a buggy and a gun. Buggy and a gun. Here we go. We do need to get on the pads, because otherwise he's going to fire the missile and we're going to lose. Which is obviously not ideal. We're looking to win the game, not lose the game. Uh, advanced tactics, my dudes. Advanced, advanced tic tacs. Win the game, not lose the game. Alright, we're going to buggy spam this dude. Uh, I don't think we can beat the laser drone spam, but of course he is no half, so you've got to expect to lose first missile to no harvester. That's generally how it goes. Not sure what these flamers are doing over here, but I'm okay with it. I'm just gonna ignore them. Oh, buggy go, buggy spam! Go 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 go! Yes, buggy and a gun. Buggy too strong. How does he deal with the mighty buggy? He just doesn't. Look at this. He just doesn't deal with the mighty buggy. You heard it here first, guys. S tier buggy. S tier. If, if flames are S tier, which we all know they must be. And Buggy beats Flames. Surely, the logical conclusion is that Buggy is triple S tier. Here you go, guys. We're going to win the game with just Buggies. It's going to be amazing. It's a dream come true for me. <laughs> Ever since I was a small child, I have desired to win a game of only Buggies. And this is the day. The day it comes true for me. It's actually, just to be clear, I actually did win a game with only buggies in the beta, so I actually have done that. I have achieved that goal before. Buggies used to be stronger than they are now. Buggy and Rhino used to be insane. And I actually won legitimate games back in the day making only buggies. But there you go, guys. Buggy and a gun. Defeats the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 menace. Good job, buggy. Good job, buggy. Objective complete. Oh my god. I forgot, I forgot to hit record at the start. Yeah. Feels bad, man. Feels bad. 
That's it. What's needed? Militia here. Building online. Unit ready. Okay, well, here we go, guys. More buggies. Attack buggy in. If you're watching this on YouTube, it means we found a way. We found a way to, uh, to, to, to record the game. So I guess we'll carry on as though we as though we uh, as though we have it. All right, there's an inferno. Inferno will obviously kill one of my buggies, but then the other buggy will get vengeance. Go buggy, go! Yes, vengeance for your fallen brother! Vengeance! <laughs> Why do you make a phantom? Vengeance! <laughs> Slay him, buggies! He has killed one of your own! Punish him for this transgression. Yes, buggy and a gun! How dare he kill a buggy! How dare he kill one of the buggy boys? Alright, Ratchet kind of broke right now. This is where I would absolutely love to have some bikes. Like, some bikes would be amazing right now. I can't afford to beat him in a Phantom War because I don't have two harvesters and he does. Come on, shoot this. Yes, amazing. Get him, buggy. Buggy and a gun. Let's go. Yes, buggy. You're the greatest. Oh, we're doing it, boys. We're doing it live. Buggy and a gun. Yes, do you see? Do you see? Buggy is the best. Buggy S tier confirmed. Mission accomplished. What's up, noobkin? Alright, here we go. Here we go, guys. Slob slovenly militants. Charging towards the middle of the map. Let's see what Nick has for me. One half. What else you got, Nick? Oh, you got you got a building yet? No building, too hard. All right, let's go for a second rifleman to get the uh, make sure we're charging, and then we'll move across and have a look at his base. See what building he makes? Barracks. Okay, I like to see barracks because I've already got two rifles. Shock troopers. Aha! My foot, my friend. Are you aware of the mighty buggy and a gun who will defeat your shock troopers? The evil shock troopers of the empire shall be defeated by the buggy and the gun. Yes, the good guys win again. Oh, Talon. Buggy defeats that as well, you fool. Buggy and a gun. Here you see it, guys. Here it is. We're doing it live. Buggy defeats Talon and Shocks. This guy's dead. Oh, God, an orca. That one beats me. Come on, Buggies. How much can we do to it? Uh, not bad. Half, half damage. All right, good job, Buggies. Oh, you think you can escape from buggy that easily? You think you can slay a buggy, Mr. Orca, and get away with it? No, no, no. The buggy council does not allow, allow this. Man, the number of games I'm winning with just buggies is actually disgusting. Oh, look at this. Look at this concave of buggies. <laughs> yes. Do you see? The mighty buggy. <laughs> Insane. Insane. Ah, oh, Wolverine? You think a Wolverine can defeat the mighty buggy? You fool. You fool, the game is already over. Buggy too strong. Quite the down uh, quite the quite the load time on this one. Need to see if the opponent is uh Let's see if opponent is um, alive or if he DC. No, he is here. Okay. Normally, when there's a long load time, it means someone's disconnected. So the slovenly rifles arrive. Ooh, his rifle. See, his rifles are trained, right? Like, they're GDI soldiers. They're trained. They have like body armor and stuff, and yet they trade evenly with these militants. 
who are just like some guys that Nod gave guns to. Look, they hold them one-handed as well. I mean, how is this an even trade? You know, it's it's a confu it's a confusing time. Anyway, let's get the buggy out because buggy is insane. Obviously, opponent is never going to defeat a buggy. Oh, buggy, get him! Yes, buggy. Let's see what he does to defeat the buggy. I mean, let's be real. He obviously can't defeat the buggy, but he will make foolish attempts to do so. What's it going to be, Tommy C17? What are you going to do to defeat the buggy? Nothing. Ha! Oh, you see? Look at this guy. Never beat a buggy. No one can beat a buggy. Well, perhaps he could beat the buggy if it didn't have the gun. You know, it's bu buggy and a gun is really the OP combo. Just buggy on its own is probably quite easy to beat, but with the gun, oh my. That's when things get real. Alright, so we do see he has an air tower. I'll have to wait and see what he builds from it. Oh, a titan! That's not from the air tower. Alright, well that's pretty good against buggy, unfortunately. I believe Titan can defeat Buggy. So we're gonna we're gonna bring in some laser drones. A Wolverine. We need a we need a scorpion for that one. Okay, so unfortunately the mighty buggies have been taken down by the evil evil Titan. So we're gonna double Scorpion Tank and see if that can do the job. Okay, Scorpion Tank has it covered. Scorpion Tank, best friends with Buggy, as everyone knows. And the evil Titan is de is destroyed. And Buggy wins yet another game of Rivals. Woo, Buggy! Objective complete. Alright, here we go. Rifles. To the middle. Go, Militants, go. Go, 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 go. Get there faster. We have seven seconds is when we start charging the pad. This, this is one of the reasons this map is decent for tech. Obviously, like, for multiple reasons. Like the harvesters are really far away from the enemy base, they harvest together, there's only two pads. There's lots of reasons, but also the fact that your opponent simply can't start charging the missile until like 7 seconds in. Alright, here come this, the, the buff flamers. Unfortunately, there's only 3 buff flamers to take on 10 slovenly militants. As we all know, num it's a numbers game, my dude, it's a numbers game. 10v3 is not a fair fight. Alright, he, he goes Venom, luckily we have the mighty buggy. We can defeat Venoms like it's nothing. Get a second buggy over here. Take out these laser drones as well. Yes, buggy. Yes. Buggy and a gun. Slaying the mighty Nod Air Force. Look at that. Look at these noobs trying to take down my mighty buggies. No one is ready for the buggy. That's what it comes down to. No, no one is prepared to defeat the mighty buggy. Oh, flamers against the mighty buggy? What are you doing, you fool? Alright, we're gonna go for a phantom as well, because this is quite a lot of laser drones now. Oh, you're just tearing, tearing it up. Buggy taking names. Look at the sheer destructive potential of the buggy. What manner of man could defeat a buggy? Surely none. Look at this. Easy, easy win for the buggies again. Absolute dominance from the buggies. Okay. All right, so we're up against a Nas, who is a consistently top five player on the ladder. Now, this time, I think the buggy is not going to cut it, guys, because unfortunately, the buggy, whilst being fantastic against all of our prior opponents, not actually a very good unit. I know, I know, I know. It's hard to believe, guys. I know it's hard to believe after after what we've witnessed here today. It's hard to believe the buggy could possibly be not very good. Unfortunately, that is the case. So we're gonna be we're gonna be laser drone spamming like a noob because that is how you beat Nod a lot of the time. Now I'm not very good at laser drone spamming, so I'm a little worried about this. I'm not the best laser drone spammer, shall we say? Or fanatics? How are you going to defeat my laser drones, Anas? That's the real question. Uh, let's 
We need to drill pot? No, we win the missile. Ah, I'm literally the greatest player alive. Apart from Agent Shadow and Alicia Destiny, who are actually better than I am. Look at this laser drone. Look at how powerful the mighty laser drone is. Let's eat the bike shots with this. Yeah, that's right. You better run. You better run and ass. Laser drones are coming for you. Right, so he's going to try and move his lasers in. We're obviously going to get in there and stop him. And we're going to drill pod now because we need the support. It's also probably time for the almighty buggy. I actually can't believe that I've gone this long. This is probably why I'm not doing great right now. It's because I forgot to make the buggy. Buggy and a gun. Oh no, a stealth tank. That kills buggy. Nightmare. Uh, let's get scorpion. Oh dear, this is bad. This is very bad. Mm, yeah, this is looking very, very bad. Um, I don't see any way to get back onto these pads. I think that's definitely going to mean I lose the missile. Alright, here we go. Here we go. Go, Scorpion, go. Laser drones, maybe. Spam the laser drones. Spam the laser drones. That's how you beat Nod. Yes. Yes. Do you see? <laughs> Bam! The laser drones! <laughs> oh my god. Oh yeah. Get them laser drones. Yes! Laser drone spam! Truly the mightiest strategy in the game. <laughs> See you laser and ass! <laughs> Are you fool? <laughs> Trying to take on the buggy and the gun? Ah, wrecked. Alright, here we go, guys. Game number 10. Can the buggy do it? Can we get all 10 wins with the mighty buggy? Militants are going to beat those rifles. That's good to see. I suspect we've both got Harvester now. A second militant up here. Oh, there's a second rifle. I was going to say I don't see a second rifle yet. So we're slightly ahead now in the rifle war. It's a good place to be. He's going to come push in, take a little bit of damage, but then I'm going to have two rifles ready for his two rifles. And then we'll get a third one, because he's probably going to make a third one. There it is. Not sure we can make it in time. Oh, he's going for the push. He's going for the big push. Okay. We're on defense, so we should win this. He's going to have to tech switch pretty soon because he's not he's clearly not winning this rifle mirror. All right, we got these two one. Yeah, there's the Razorback. Uh, what do I have for Razorback? I have like Buggy and Phantom. Okay, I guess we go Phantom. This feels bad though. I don't think I don't think we can win this missile. I think I think Razorback is just too good. Ah, oh, yeah, Razorback's too strong. Nothing I can do. Without stealth tank, you basically can never beat a Razorback first missile because Phantom doesn't kill it. Oh, that's just an unfortunate nature. Maybe we should have tech switched into the buggy sooner. Um, and then just had a buggy to tank against the Razorback. I'm not sure. Well, anyway, too late now. So we're going to get the buggy. And then the rifles to fight the Grens. There is a pit bull. And we have Scorpion for that, so that's not a problem. Grens are a bit of an issue as well. They're just too tanky. I guess we should drill pod. Oh my god, let me drill pod game. Here comes a fresh Razorback, which we're going to need to take care of with the uh, Phantom. Please shoot the Razorback, my dude. Please. Thank you. Okay, so this missile we win at a big cost, though. We lost a lot doing that missile. We lost a lot. We lost our Phantom and we lost... Uh, well, we didn't actually lose either of the Scorpions. So maybe it's not so bad. Oh, Phantom. Kill it. Kill it. Kill it. Kill it. Oh, my God. Could you kill it a little bit faster, please? That way I don't lose a model. That would be great. Just like a little tip for next time, Mr. Phantom. All right, so we're going to have Buggy finish off this Hammerhead, if that's possible. Yes, Buggy and a gun. He's strong. Buggy once again dominating the game, as usual. We need another drill pod for this, um, for this Gren. 
over here, over here, over this way. So much to do. This deck is a nightmare. Oh my god. I mean, honestly, apart from having buggy instead of bikes, it's a pretty standard deck. Okay, we do lose our phantom, but we have banks, so that's okay. Buggy comes in here. Please kill my militants so I can build a phantom. Thank you very much. Phantom takes out this. Grenadiers are coming in, but it's going to be too late because Buggy wins the top pad! Buggy and a gun! Let's go! Buggy too strong. GG! I almost lost it. I almost got flipped there. <laughs> Buggy too strong. Let's go. Objective complete. There it is, my dudes. Tenno with the mighty Buggy. You heard it here first, everyone. Buggy and a gun. Completely unbeatable. Completely unbeatable. Um... Just to be clear, Buggy is a pretty bug. Buggy and Rhino are both pretty good units if the opponent doesn't have a tank or a shade. Like, those things make them really, really, really bad. But if they don't have those things, or like a stealth tank, there's like there's quite a lot of units that can one shot a Buggy or a Rhino, and then those units are not very good. But if your opponent doesn't have things like that, they are decent. Anas should have beaten me. His deck, his deck is better than mine. But I spammed laser drones, and he didn't make shades. See, Nod decks are very weak to laser drones and shades, but I spammed laser drones and he didn't make any shades. So that's why I won that game. Um, so yeah, buggy, not horrendous, just pretty bad against certain units. If people don't play those units, they're pretty good. But if people do play those units, then they're a massive liability, which is why I don't really like them that much as units. But yeah, if people don't have the, the counter to them, they're not bad. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed that one, and I will see you next time.